It's time for Cruise News, the latest cruise news throughout the world. So sit back and relax and enjoy Cruise News. Hello and welcome to Cruise News. Thank you so much for tuning in. Before I give you the World Cruise News stories, I just want to let you know, after I tell you the news, please uh, tune in because I'm going to have my cruise tip of the week followed by my recent Canada and New England cruise, which I have some really good footage to show you. So be sure to check it out. The FBI is investigating the death of a 12-year-old boy on board the Harmony of the Sea ship on its way back from a seven-day Western Caribbean cruise back to Galveston, Texas port. The boy fell from a balcony that overlooks Central Park area of the ship. Royal Caribbean has reached a new agreement with Varsilia to cover 37 ships in its fleet. The new partnership will improve engine efficiency, reduce fuel consumption, and reduce emissions. Port of San Diego, California, is adding new shore power outlet for vessels connecting to the electrical grid while at berth. This upgrade will help reduce air quality and reduce greenhouse gas emissions around San Diego Bay by enabling more cruise ships to use shore power instead of diesel engines. Norwegian Cruise Line is canceling one of Norwegian Bliss upcoming cruises in Alaska. The week of cancellation is April 2nd, 2025. This is due to the result of a flea redeployment, which will see the ship sailing a new itinerary during that time frame. Passengers affected will automatically receive a full refund. Disney's newest ship, Disney Destiny, will be making its debut on November 20th, 2025, setting sail from Port Everglades, Florida, for a four-night voyage to the Bahamas. Carnival Lamencia ship will home port in San Francisco for the first time in 2026, following its 22-day Tahiti and Pacific Islands repositioning cruise from Brisbane, Australia in April 2026. Then it will have Alaska cruises from April 27th to September 10th, 2026. After undergoing repairs at Port Canaveral, the Carnival Vista ship welcomed guests back on September 15, 2024. Norwegian Cruise Line announced Revolution, a celebration of prints and elements the world expanded as the two new exclusive entertainment shows to debut on Norwegian Aqua ship in April 2025. Oceana Cruises will debut the Riviera ship in Alaska in 2025. Departing from Seattle, Vancouver, and Whittier, the voyages range from 7 to 12 days. Princess Cruises is extending its better than the best price promotion that launched earlier this summer until December 15, 2024. It includes all cruises in 2025 and 2026. It's time for my cruise tip of the week, and it's all about what do I pack for my cruise it's in terms of clothes, uh, what kind of suitcase do I take. It's all depending on your needs. For me, I normally just take one carry-on, and I, I really don't take much clothes because I only take what I need. I have layers, but the first thing you should do after you get your cruise tickets is to start looking at the weather of the ports that you go to. You can look at weather.com, put all the names of the different ports or the cities that you're going to visit, uh, and then and just kind of monitor it for like, you know, two, three weeks. And then you're like a week away from the trip, then you'll know exactly what to pack on, the, the, on your trip. I found if you're going to a warm climate like the Caribbean or Hawaii, you don't have to have too much cold stuff. If you're going to Alaska, then you need to have a winter coat, thermal, you know, and all the rain gear and everything. It all depends on where you're going and that will determine what you should bring. The only way to determine it is to look at the weather before you actually go on your cruise. Some of the cruise lines also have this night where you dress up really nice. Um, this is a chance for you to bring some of your nice clothes 
um, with you so that you can have nice pictures so you can remember your cruise always. So um, that, that's a good thing. I do try to bring some nice stuff, like a nice pair of clothes. And then what I do is like after my meal, I take my wife out and we get nice pictures, maybe a sunset or just nice pictures on the deck. And it's something that's it's very, it's very memorable. You want to remember that cruise the rest of your life. And, and I just recently went on a cruise and I absolutely loved it. They actually on this Norwegian uh, gym ship, they did not have a, a night where you dress up, but you know, people still dressed up if, if they want to. Most cruise ships have that where you, you, you know, you, you're required to dress up for the main dining room. So that, I just want to let you know that if you're going to a cold place like Alaska, uh, just think of it as I need to have layers, like layers of clothes. I found the, la the this past cruise I went on that I wish I would have packed all uh, more long sleeve shirts. I only had one long sleeve shirt. I had all short sleeve shirts. I thought it was going to be a lot warmer on this cruise uh, to Canada and New England uh, in September, but it wasn't. Um, it, it was only a couple of weeks ago and I actually was cold and I wish I would have packed more long sleeve shirts. Um, and it, I think long sleeve shirts, you can never go wrong with them. Also, it's a little cooler at night and also you get wind at night. Most of the cruises you go on, it's windy at night. It's only once in a while that there's no wind at night when you're on, when you're in the, uh, when your cruise ships on the ocean. That just doesn't happen too often. Just keep that in mind so you make the right decisions with, and also to check out the weather so you make the right decisions before you go on your cruise. Thank you so much for tuning into my show today. I hope I, it was very helpful what I said about with my tip. And also, I, I just hope you love my show. If you do love my show, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'm going to leave you with... Uh, some of the pictures and video uh, footage of my last cruise in Canada and uh, New England. Um, I had such a blast. It was so much fun. So we flew to Boston, took a cruise ship. Uh, we went to, you know, three ports in Nova Scotia. We went to Maine and then back to Boston. Then I had an incredible day in Boston, seeing the city. I stayed overnight in a hotel and it was so much fun. I love Boston. It's a very beautiful city and I have a lot of fond memories. I'm gonna leave you with this incredible footage of this, of my amazing experience. And also, happy cruising. It is so much fun cruising. I'm just having a great time. Um, if, you, if you haven't been cruising before, um, it, I would suggest to get into it. It's so much fun. Um, it's relaxing and not only like that, you get to see all these incredible ports and, and if, especially if it's beautiful weather, um, it makes all the difference in the world.
Thank you for tuning in to Cruise News. Until next time, happy cruising!